In this video I will show you how to create this mixer, the elongated shape of which I will use in the current project. And this will not be a full lesson. There will be more of a workflow showing how to model, how to unfold, make textures and load, make what materials will be used in Unreal. So, if you have any questions about the workflow, ask in the comments, I will be happy to answer them. But for beginners, it will be quite difficult to repeat this process, because as I said, this is more of a demo of a workflow. Enjoy watching, and I'm waiting for you under this video in the comments. So, then, we are taking a screenshot so that we understand the material. We do the same, save our drawing. We just create a plan and delete the extra segments. Now I will try to transfer it. The creation of the material does not always work right away. In general, what we are doing, we immediately scaled the picture and made the plan smaller. We create a box. We need the box for dimensions in order to set the correct size. For example, 136 millimeters. And I move the pivot of the plan point by point. We will now scale it. So, the plan was scaled according to the dimensions of the box. Here, we take the cylinder. Fit it in size and put it in the position as in the picture. I just take, copy, you can create new cylinders, I just copy the existing one. And now we need to edit it. So, let me reduce the radius. We clarify the position and height, length, more precisely. Next item. It's just as simple, counter radius and length. You can refine the radius a little more. Next, lower the base of our mixer down and specify the height. Height before bend. Convert to editable poly. Height. So I need to choose the top cover. First, I'll scale to fit the diameter exactly right away. Here, we remove the cover, choose the border, the edge, and holding it with the shift scaled it. Here, along the z-axis in height, specify the size. Here are the ribs, and we made a cap. Those edges are enough, so we also remove the top one. We got the edges, more precisely, polygons, without anti-aliasing. Now we will fix it right away. Here is also a cap. Likewise, by scaling, simply by holding down the shift, creating new polygons. Having selected the polygons we need, we simply apply smoothing groups. That's it. Here we will take the inset function. Add a polygon in the polygon, and, moving it away, scale it along with the drawing. We also have the last element left. I'll just turn on opacity, control plus X and fill in the size as well.
Now edit the length and that's enough. We are ready to merge. That is, we will be using compound objects. For this, pro boolean, start picking. But union must not be forgotten, for the union and so that the parts invisible to us will be removed. I will select the existing pro boolean, start picking. Here we have union. I can't say our geometry is not very good or correct, but we will fix it so that the topology is correct. It's such a quick way. We do the same with the upper part. That's it, we have two objects, but they, as you can see, their topology isn't so good. Launch Remesher. By the way, you can simply create a button. I don't use it that much, so I just find it in search. We see that with the statistics turned on at the top left, there were a thousand there, and I just do twice as much the mesh is denser and Quadro Remesher tightens the mesh, makes it more correct. You can see how much better it looks now. You can still condense it, anyway. We can later optimize so that we'll get more details directly. Now the mesh is better, it looks more smooth. We can use chamfer here so that the parts, the joints look better where the two parts fit together. Here we need unsmooth so that only non-smoothed areas are smoothed. Here, to select the plane at 45 degrees, Select by an angle and delete. Also, we scale the edge. Create new polygons and a cap. Well, or we can just scale and collapse in the same way. This topology will look better. We also select the inner polygons and smooth them. Here we can do the same. Now I will put statistics, so that the selected one can also be seen. OK. And here we see, we have 5,000 or 3,000 polygons. A thousand will be enough. Now let's just transfer chamfer. We see how we get a smooth optimized mesh. And yet, now it is not so optimized, but it is dense, it is correct. 